Preponderant analysis is a survey-based statistical technique used in market research to measure realistic value trade-offs. It reveals true preferences of a product or service. The main objective of conjoint analysis is to determine what combination of a limited number of attributes is most influential on respondent choice or decision making. It measures the value of different features such as price, brand, functions, and benefits that make up an individual product or service for which a person uses to make a purchasing decision. QuestionPro specializes in choice-based discrete choice conjoint analysis. The main characteristic distinguishing conjoint-based conjoint analysis from other types of conjoint analysis is that the respondent expresses preferences by choosing concepts of products or services from a number of set of concepts rather than by rating or ranking each of them. By analyzing how they make preferences between these products, the implicit valuation of the individual elements making up the product or service can be determined. These implicit valuations are also known as utilities or parts worth and can be used to create market models that estimate market share, revenue, and even profitability of new designs. To get started with conjoint analysis using QuestionPro, you will start by accessing the conjoint task creation wizard to create conjoint tasks based on entering predefined features and levels. After logging into QuestionPro, the first step is to go to the Edit Survey and click on Add New Question link and select the Conjoint Discrete Choice option from under Advanced Question Types. This will open the wizard-based conjoint question template to create tasks by entering attributes or features and levels for each of the features. Step 2. Enter the features and levels. In this example, we will put in features for televisions and we'll use price, size, and brand. For levels, for price, we'll use 800, 1200, and 1500. For size, we'll use 36, 45, and 52. And for brand, we'll use Sony, LG, Vizio, and Panasonic. To remove a level, select the level to remove from the list and select delete. Next, update the feature type to price slash cost, brand, or other to be used for brand premium and price sensitivity analysis and also update the price cost value. The next step is to set up the task counts and concepts for tasks at the bottom of the question template. Step 3. Select design type from three possibilities. Random design uses the algorithm to generate concept combinations generally used for medium to large sample sizes. Deoptimal uses a different algorithm to generate concept combinations and checks for appropriate number of task counts and concepts per task for small sample sizes under 300. And import design gives you the ability to completely control every concept and task shown to a respondent. For this example, we'll use random design. Next, you can add images to the levels such as logos and click on settings to adjust the size. Step 4. Add additional setting options such as fixed tasks or prohibited concepts. Prohibited concepts prevent the type of concepts to be shown in the conjoint exercise. For this example, we don't want any Sony 32-inch TVs for $800 to be shown as an option to select from. Let's preview what we've built so far. Here we have three concepts per task and two task counts. To the survey taker, they're choosing which television they prefer out of three options on two pages.
After data has been collected, go to the Analytics tab in Question Pro and select Choice Modeling. Then select Conjuring Analysis. Select the conjuring question to be analyzed and open to view four analytic options. Attribute importance shows which features is most important in making a decision and the utility values for each level. Next is the profile report, which gives you the best and worst profile concepts and the total parts worth for every concept shown to the respondents ranked in most to least chosen. Use the sliding scale to compare all the concepts with the best and worst profile shown above. You can also customize the best worst profile based on features and levels used in the conjoint study. Next is the market share simulator that gives administrators an idea of potential market share. It compares various concepts side by side and estimates market share based on data collected from the conjoint study. Here we are comparing 32 inch Sony TVs for $800 versus 4 other TV concepts. From this you can analyze the vote count and potential market share. The last analysis tool is Brand Premium and Price Elasticity. The Brand Premium measures how much a brand influenced a respondent choice versus other features. And here, Sony influence is much higher than other brands. Below is the Price Elasticity model which relates to the aggregate demand for a product and the shape of the demand curve. The way we calculate is plotting the demand which is frequency count divided by total response at different levels of price. You can view the changes in the demand curve based on brand and other features programmed in the conjoint study and isolate or add them for a clearer picture. Last but not least, you can download the raw data conjoint results in the top right hand corner of the conjoint analysis choice modeling page. Reports include display concepts, conjoint analysis report, and a profile report. These exported reports can be used for further analysis in Excel or other analytics tools such as SPSS, Tableau, and more.